All right, super fast video for you to get started while I am not here. Uh, you know that I expect you to uh, be working. So I've modified today a little bit uh, so that you don't need to work with Inventor. I'm going to give you some information to move forward. We will work with Inventor more, 10 ISOs, and the Puzzle Cube uh, later this week when I get back. So your objective for today is to be able to create a motion graph that describes the follower on a rotating cam. So I'll show you uh, one of them here, and let me uh, suppress one of our constraints and essentially we know that that cam that in this case the eccentric cam uh, forces the follower to go up and down well that's nice because this is a really simple motion it's just moving back and forth we've studied that and that's what we're going to do today is make the connection between the rotating cam and this simple back and forth or one-dimensional motion so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to download this spreadsheet or open it rather um, and we know the, the drill here you're going to make a copy of it when it comes up, a little slow, uh, make a copy, and then you'll change instead of copy of, we know we put our name. I'm going to even spell mine right. And what's going to go in here? You'll notice, and this will make sense, we're going to describe the motion of two cams, one for a snail cam, one for an eccentric cam. And we have angle of rotation in degrees, so we'll do a full rotation from 0 to 360, 0 to 360. Where are you going to get the information? We're going to record the height at the top of the follower and the height at the bottom of the follower for both. And the information is real simple. I took screenshots of this at different points in the rotation, and those screenshots are back on your classroom. So I'll just show you one here. This is for the eccentric cam for two inches. So we start right here, and you'll notice as I go through here, as I start to make a turn, that handle is turned 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, all the way to a complete rotation back to zero or 360. We're simply going to record two heights, and we're going to do it to the nearest, uh, the gradations on this ruler are to the eighth of an inch. So this height here at the top at zero degrees, the top of the follower right there looks to me to be real close to five and seven eighths. The bottom of the follower, I'm going to have to kind of pick one there. I think it's about one and two eighths. So I'm going to approximate those. I may want to jot those down on a piece of paper or uh, and just go through and jot them down first, make a little maybe a T-chart or something like that. Or I could just go back. Uh, to here and just keep going back and forth. So the height of the top of the follower was at 5. Now watch. Remember, the spreadsheet's not going to know what to do with 7 divided by 8. So I'm going to put 5. I'm going to put it as decimal. So 7 eighths is 0.875. And then the height of the bottom of the follower we said was 1 and 2 eighths. Well, 2 eighths is a quarter. That's 0.25. So 1.25. Point is we're putting the things in here as decimal inches. So once you do that, you're going to create a graph. You'll have all of these numbers populated for both. You're going to create two graphs. One, I would just highlight this. And I'm going to choose to make a graph. Insert a chart. And mine's going to be kind of meaningless because I haven't populated it, but I want you to make a scatter chart. Uh, so we'll go down and find that scatter. And again, mine doesn't show very much going on here because I just have two data points. But at zero angles rotation, the height of the bottom of the follower is here. The height of the top of the follower is there. So we'll have two graphs, one for the snail cam, one for the eccentric cam. And I'm going to check them for this week's completion. All right, good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.